So what's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Edge Enemy. In this tutorial I'm going to explain to you guys what triggers, labels, and stop actions are. A lot of people use these for their projects, I get a lot of questions about them and this is the time to start explaining what exactly they are and how you use them in this program. So first thing I'm going to do is create a button over here and we're just going to change the color in the properties panel and let's change this color to blue. Next thing that we're going to do is right click on this and we're going to select an action for it and we're going to select click and then play and then I'm just going to put in quotations Adobe Easy and this is just going to refer to the timeline being played where Adobe Easy is. So we're just going to close that out and then over here we're going to create ourselves a label and remember we just placed Adobe Easy in parentheses in quotations so right here create a label called Adobe Easy. So what do we want to happen over here when Adobe Easy plays? Well, we can write some text and again, I'll call it Adobe Easy. And I'm just gonna create a simple animation with this opacity for the text. And we're just gonna lower the opacity, select the keyframe, and then bring the opacity back to 100. Over here where it stops, we're gonna put a stop trigger, Control T, and we're gonna select stop. And it's gonna stop right there. In the beginning of the timeline, what we want to do is also create another stop trigger. That way when somebody opens this up, we don't have to worry about the timeline just playing to the text. So control T again and select stop. Take this button and right over here we're going to change the cursor and select the pointer. That way when somebody rolls over the button, they know something's going to happen. Next we're going to do over here is create a reset button. And we can do this in the beginning of the timeline also. And I'll take some text over here and just write reset. Now obviously this doesn't look too good because who's gonna have a reset button like this? I mean, it kind of looks a little ridiculous, but we're gonna use this. So right click over here, open actions, select click, and then we're gonna select play, in quotations, start. And what's gonna happen here is when someone clicks this, they're gonna come to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna make a label, control L, and call this start. So let's see what this looks like, control enter. That opens Adobe Easy, reset, and you just go to the beginning of the timeline. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.